Today in the news, Intel does something I've been waiting for in a long time. Their top dog CPU gets benchmarked and dbrand goes savage. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. It looks like the company is finally waking up. After the 10th generation got destroyed by AMD's new 5000 series, the blue team simply closed their eyes and ignored the competition. And now we finally get what I was waiting for, a price cut. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Intel has reduced the price of all of its 10th generation CPUs. Well, not all specific ones, but they cover most of the range. Now, if you want an unlocked 10 core CPU, the uh, 10850K got about a $20 discount. By the way, the 10850K is like the 10900K, but better. How? Check the link down below. Anyways, that $20 discount brings it down to $409.99 US. It's not much, but some other CPUs have deeper discounts and are actually really good deals. For example, if you want a quad core eight thread CPU for your media center or for a basic gaming rig, the i3-10100 is only $115 US or 174 Canadian. If you want something better like the i5-10400, that's a six core 12 thread CPU, it's only $160 US, but if you're in Canada, it's an even better deal at 193. Then if you want an unlocked six core for some overclocking madness, the 10600K is only 229. Wow, it used to be like 260 or 270, but the real deal here, the cream of the crop, is the 10700F. It's an eight core, it has great clock speeds, sure, it's not unlocked, but who cares, but it's freaking eight cores and it's also 229. The price dropped from 310 or $425 Canadian down to 229 US or 360 Canadian. That's dirt cheap right now and it's going to last you a very long time. Now, yes, it's sort of last gen, and yes, AMD has better performing CPUs right now, but this deal is so good because it's available. It seems like in 2020 slash 2021, it's not about who has the best performance in the CPU market, it's who's in stock. And Intel is taking advantage of AMD's shortage to sell more of their stuff, smart. Also, with Intel, it looks like Rocket Lake S has already been reviewed, at least the 11900K and 11700K. The 11900K was benchmarked by this person on YouTube, can't say the name because it's in Chinese, and it offers some pretty odd results. The YouTuber compared it to a 5800X, that's fine, and the 11900K actually did amazing. It beat its AMD counterpart in every single synthetic benchmark, except for Cinebench R15 in single core mode, where it basically matched it. Overall, in multi-core, the Intel chip was about 9% ahead. But oddly enough, in gaming, AMD puts up a fight with their eight core boy either being a little better or matching Intel's performance. Out of all the game tested, the only one where AMD lost was PUBG, and they barely lost with a three to six FPS difference. Now, of course, it could be that this is simply because the Intel chip tested wasn't equipped with the updates necessary, and because of that, it left some performance on the table. Or it could just be that AMD is trash. Calm down, I'm joking. As usual with Intel, it's going to be the price that matters. They showed us today that they know what a discount is. Let's hope that they don't forget. Moving on, let's talk about Nvidia. You might think that it is cheating in a way, but DLSS is proven to be a great asset to the green team. And up to now, it was unfortunately only available on a limited number of games and pretty hard to implement for game devs. Well, the company just fixed one of these two issues. They released DLSS as a plugin for the Unreal Engine 4, making it insanely easy for devs to integrate it into the games. That's going to be great for indie titles that use the Unreal Engine. Next up, we got a sticker company with an affront to Sony. Last year, a company called PlayStation 5 was threatened with legal action by Sony because they wanted to sell replacement plates for the PS5. The plate company decided that it was not worth the legal trouble and they shut down their operations for the console. And then here comes Dbrand who just announced their new PS5 plates and wow, 
They look gorgeous. What's more, they're taunting Sony with phrases like, go ahead, sue us. They even have a similar skin that is reminiscent of the uh, tiny Sony textures on the controller. Dbrand says that this design is a familiar but legally distinct apocalyptic spin on the classic PlayStation button shapes. I kind of like it better for some reason. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. As you can see, it's a brand new set again. Well, it's not a brand new set, but it's a, a new angle on the set, a new take. You guys let me know what you think down below. So drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.